Sorry about the sun, but uh, we're putting corn in. I, uh, we got the ocean, the whole field seeded down, and uh, we got one field of corn in, it's another one we're getting in. And um, hopefully tomorrow we'll pretty much be finished up with corn. The possibility we might be able to switch over to soy tomorrow, but so, uh, we're not going to get too crazy, think too far ahead, but uh, try and get all the corn in. We got rain coming Thursday, nice Friday and Saturday, and rain again Sunday. So we're hoping to try and get done. Uh, we got the 180 on the white, uh, 5100, six little corn cutter. Uh, probably gonna get loud because I had to stop to pick up a rock, did throw it off the field, but uh, it works pretty good. We rebuilt the planter. Uh, last year we went through and put all new seed discs on it. Um, new seed tubes, brushes in it, cut out brushes, um, quite a bit of stuff. We bushed the units, um, set the monitor out, make sure it was working good and everything. So, so far so good. Um, so let's get planted and hopefully get this field done and maybe we'll pull ahead and we'll have another field. the uh, field planted last night um, today's Wednesday the 13th of May it's 22 degrees out it's about uh, about 6 30 in the morning um, took actually today off to uh, try and try and get done um, Try and get the corn done. We got rain coming Thursday. So, uh, I'm gonna try and finish up the rest of the corn. Possibly get, um, a load of, or a load, uh, too early in the morning. Late night, early morning. Um, possibly get a, a field of soy in. Not sure yet. We'll see how that goes, but just uh kind of crazy it's heavy frost i mean well it's 20 like i said 22 degrees still running the wood boiler shoot i fired this thing up in october last year uh, it's crazy so it's kind of uh, one thing that's been slowing us down from planting a little bit is we've had all the fields ready but haven't wanted to really put the seed in the ground because it's been so dang cold. But at some point you gotta get going. So we'll uh, finish up corn today, hopefully, and we'll see on the soybeans. All the grounds worked and everything. So, but uh, yeah, just out here doing chores. Um, I'll have to show you. Um, all them hutches are full. Uh, I got 11 calves on milk right now. A lot of them, I think I had, maybe had six earlier this week. The rest of them have all came pretty much this week or last weekend or this week. So a lot of new ones. So it takes a little while to feed to get them used to things. But uh, so far, so good. So, um, getting way behind on things here, though. Um, need to uh, need to grind feed. 
Um, need to clean barn. Um, I want to get them three hutches and then the, the calf in that hutch. I want to get uh, moved into the barn. Um, I'll show you sometime, but I want to get them moved over there into that part of the barn, kind of in a group pen. And um, they're all on the bucket and that would, uh, that'll free up four hutches for me, but haven't really had time doing that. It's been, um, been go to work, get home and plant. Ooh, and then uh, get, come home and slam chores out real quick and go to bed. So we'll see. See how she goes, but yeah, a little frosty this morning. So not exactly what I like to see on May 13th. planted uh last field just finished it up about a half hour ago ate some lunch and um gonna switch this thing over for soybeans now and uh we're gonna try and plant oh like a 12 acre field yet today it's all finished um i just gotta start planting then we gotta pack it we got rain coming tomorrow so but i wanted to show you kind of what we gotta do to switch the planter over from corn to soybeans um these here are the uh, soybean plates. Them are the corn plates. Um, this one I have out already. Uh, if you can see, there's an air line right here that blows air into this. Air comes in right here. Um, and that disc, like uh, that one is there. You can kind of see it the camera will focus um sits on here with this bolt holding it on and it turns this is a tickler brush they call it it knocks um well the seed first of all is laying right here and uh this knocks off any excess beans that might be trying to hold on or corn inside the groove here them grooves and uh so that's a tickler brush and then when it's coming around here the air is of course blowing on it holding the beans in the plate and when it gets to this brush it's called a cutout brush and uh shuts the air off to it and then it drops it down the seat tube so pretty easy really we just got to change the disc uh put the bean plate disc in take corn out and uh, change the rate from 28,000 to about 135. And that's uh, pretty much it. We got a little bit of liquid left. What I'm gonna do is cut it with water, um, figure it out, whatever's in there, double it and then um, I want to put about three gallons, no more than three gallons down on the beans just to burn out what's left. So I'll put actually six gallons out, um, but half of it will be water. So just to burn up the liquid. Um, I don't know if it helps the beans much, but definitely we like it on the corn, but might as well get rid of it. So yeah, getting the planter switched over and we'll go plant some soybeans. Over.
wrapping her stuff, get her coal pack. Well, it's raining out. And, uh, we kind of made a decision. We got one field, we got all the corn done. We got one field of uh, soybeans in. And the weather looks nice next week, all next week. If we would have pushed, we probably could have got, uh, probably could have got the uh, rest of the soybeans in and done. But we knew this rain was coming and it's not real warm. It's, uh, it's only probably about 50. So we, instead of trying to slam them in, we decided to um, wait. Because we thought we were only getting about a half inch to an inch of rain today on Sunday. But now they're calling for like two inches, two and a half. So I don't know if it was a smart decision or not. In a way, I'm glad we ain't got the rest of the beans planted with this rain, pounding rain. Then again, I wish it was done. So... We'll see you next week. is uh, supposed to rain all day Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday morning be done. So hopefully, if nothing else, by Thursday evening or Friday, we can get back into the fields and finish up. It looks nice from here until at least a good four or five days. So I see my helper came out of the house to put her boots on. So, yeah, we moved... Uh, Move some calves today around and um, we made a video of that. What's up, Brent? Something in your boot? Yeah. Is it corn? No, that, that's not corn. That's not corn. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we moved some calves around. We got a little video of that. I'll try and, sorry about being late here and putting these videos up. I've been busy and trying to get them done and. So I got one to post before this and then I'll post this one and I got one moving calves. So there'll be some videos coming. So uh, trying to get, uh, get a little bit of everything that's going on. Busy time right now. So, but it'd be nice to get done with soys and get done planting and things put away. So uh, for the year. So alrighty, well, thanks for watching and uh, We'll talk to you guys later.